Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am about to begin my very first clinical day in the hospital, and it's actually really exciting. I'll be rotating in the hematology lab department starting this morning. If you're new here, I'm Dominique, a fourth semester medical laboratory student. I'm sitting in this parking deck because I have a lot of time to spare before I have to go in. The best thing about this facility is that it's only 10 minutes away, so I didn't feel too rushed this morning. I believe today is just gonna be a, getting a, oriented and acquainted with the clinical educator and the hospital's laboratory so I don't expect too much to start going off today like I said I'm early but I'm probably gonna head in in a few minutes and figure out where I need to go to and then I'll check in back with y'all later on today okay so I basically just finished my first day of clinicals so I'll kind of walk y'all through what I did today just keep in mind that every school is different every program is different every clinical site is different so my experience may be completely different than someone else's. So first thing I did today was meet with the clinical educator. I received a very in-depth orientation to get acquainted with the hospital. We toured the facility and then like literally all throughout the hospital, we was all over the place. And then we toured the entire laboratory, which was really cool. So like this one is set up as a core lab, which is like hematology, coagulation, urinalysis, serology, and then there was a chemistry. And then there was microbiology department, over there and then blood banking department over there and then the histology and pathology lab over there so it was really interesting to see everything get to meet everybody since we'll be working with them over the course of the next few weeks and stuff like that got to see what instrumentation they were working with i was introduced to all the staff members that were there that day and also the my preceptor so that was really cool and she's really intense <laughs> so um, I'm a little nervous for tomorrow, but yeah, the entire day was so cool. And it's just, it's it's been so exciting just knowing that I actually get to go to the lab now and learn alongside actual med technologists or med lab scientists, you know, whatever you call it, it's just cool. So this binder is all of my clinical competencies for the duration of my clinical rotations, and it is a lot of stuff. By the end of my clinical experience, I will have completed all of these competencies. <laughs> Okay, so I finished my second day of rotations. I basically oriented to the hematology department today. I got to learn what a typical day in hematology is like. So I was introduced to environmental control, cleaning, <laughs> all that stuff, and then quality control of the analyzers and of the, all the other equipment like microscopes and stuff like that. And then specimen quality stuff, <laughs> like what the criteria is for accepting or rejecting specimens and stuff like that. So it's just so cool to see how stuff is automated. Most tests were so time consuming, such as like an ESR. That took an hour. I loaded an analyzer today that did it in three minutes. <laughs> so like the time management is just so much more awesome than what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> but you know, the fact that we can just, like today, the fact that I was just able to load specimens onto an analyzer and walk away from it and go do something else, like that's just so cool. But anyway, some of the instruments I'll be learning how to use over the next few weeks are Cellivision, which I'm most excited about. <laughs> I think that thing is so cool. Um, DXH 800, I mean DXH SMS. I said PFA 100, STA Compact Max. Um, there's a few other ones, but I can't remember them right now. And then I learned a little bit about interpretations and troubleshooting when there are specimens that end up um giving results that are out of range i don't know if i said this earlier but the laboratory the the rotation i'm doing although it is hematology the lab their core lab is actually hematology urinalysis and body fluids and coagulation so it's a lot of stuff going on at once and if you're working in that area you're considered a generalist so you end up working multiple benches and it's just how it has to be but um, yeah, I'm about to spend this weekend reviewing a lot of things so that I'm ready for on next week because today I observed a few cell differentials and like like one of the CBCs that they had to do a diff on, they were just like pointing out, oh yeah, that's a promyelocyte, oh that's a myelocyte, oh that's a metamyelocyte, and I was not keeping up, so I need to review. <laughs> I didn't know, I mean, the only one I knew was a promyelocyte, and that's just because of how distinct that it looks, but... You know, I need to review so that I'm actually able to point out those cells, not just from, you know, like the textbook and stuff like that. So I'm doing that this weekend, going to spend time going through the analyzers and learning more about them so that I'm ready for next week as well. <laughs> 
because oh my first week of clinical rotations is completed i feel like i'm just this much closer to graduation and it's exciting i know these next several months really do have me a little nervous for what's to come <laughs> But yeah, how about y'all like leave some comments if you've been through clinicals or you're going through clinicals Tell me about your experiences. Was it frightening? Was it fun? Was it boring? Like let me know like did you see some cool stuff? Make sure to subscribe to my channel <laughs> We just made it to 500 subscribers last time I looked so thank you all so much We are making it through this journey that last hump that I have to get through to get to the certification exam, right? <laughs> so this is the start of the next chapter in my journey, clinicals. Yeah, you guys, I know this vlog wasn't <laughs> the most exciting, but it's exciting for me. It's about to start raining now. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else for the rest of the day. I'm probably about to go to sleep. My feet are aching. <laughs> Literally sat down twice today. One of the those times was because I had to sit and read SOPs and I had to eat lunch. <laughs> so besides that, I've been standing all day and my feet ache. So I think I'm about to just kick up my feet and chill out. I was watching Bad Girls Clubs. So I'm probably going to finish that. I'm on season 10 and I just had the reunions left <laughs> to get through. So I'm probably going to finish that today. I have some assignments that I need to submit by tomorrow so i'm gonna probably do those tonight so i can get those out the way so i can just chill tomorrow because i'm tired like i said i gotta spend the weekend prepping for next week so i don't really have too much time to just <laughs> chill but i'm gonna make some time because that's the only way to get through this at this point thank you guys for watching my videos don't forget to comment down below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to keep up with my journey in medical laboratory school.